Captain's log, supplemental. The Micronobian delegates have been on the leave for two days now, and quite honestly, they have been less than unobtrusive. I think I ordered a plate of Centaurian fettuccine. Not horse crap. At least the portions are generous. Throw that on the ground in disgust. What? You heard me. Oh, now me. Dunk mine on your head. What would that? Just do it. Now that's just not right. Hmm? Look at what they're doing to that crewman. Now dance. Faster. Hey. Faster. Faster. How fast does it go? Faster. Only we should be able to do that to our crewman. I did give you two very easily executable suggestions at the beginning of this mission. I don't want him dead, I just want to teach him a lesson. What lesson is that, sir? Don't be a dick. I, I don't think that... Don't think I can do it? Watch me. Cosmo. One cappuccino coming up. There's one cappuccino with whip. Next. Cosmo. Yes, sir. What can I do for you, sir? I need you to help me take the Micronobians down to sick bay. Oh, my. Are they ill, sir? Not yet. <laughs> How? Gentlemen. Why, if it isn't Captain Douchebag? If you have a bottle somewhere you should be attending to? As a matter of fact, I do. But first, I have an urgent communique for you, Ambassador, from Fleet Command. By the flaming tits of our qual, what do they want with me now? Something about new medical precautions. That's odd. This looks an awful lot like a medical facility. Take a wrong turn, Captain Brain Dead. No, new fleet precautions. All alien transport modules must be cleaned and sterilized prior to any long stay on my ship. We've already been on your ship for two days. I did say it was a new fleet precaution. But Captain, I don't recall there being anything from... Cosmo! Why don't you go make sure that corner doesn't move, okay? Yes, sir! Right away, sir! Doc. What? What the hell were you doing? You sure you want to know? Not really, no. I've got an alien transport module here that needs to be cleaned and sterilized. Really? Why? New fleet precautions. Okay, I'll take care of it. Thanks, Doc. Cosmo! Yes, sir! How can I be of assistance, Doc? Jeebus, how long have you been there? Well, I was in the mess hall making drinks, and then Stefan wanted a root beer... Okay, okay, I don't care that much. Okay. Here, take care of this. The captain wants his transport module sterilized. Now see here, you're not really going to- The captain says you're to be cleaned up, so that's what we're gonna do. You haven't got the balls. Do you have any idea what Ambassador Dominicus can do to your career? What else could he do to me? I'm on this ship. I'll have your head for this! I'll clean her up all nice and good, sir. Swell. Get that taken care of, then go back making sure that corner doesn't move, alright? Yes! Ah, uh, crap, it got loose. Crawford, I told you to tie it down tight! Okay. First, we're gonna put you in these stasis capsules right here. Get away, you automaton! Three! Thank you, Ambassador! You guys stay nice and comfy now, okay? In the meantime, I'm gonna take this and put it through the sterilizer! Hey, Doc, you got any painkillers? Uh, I'm a little busy right now. One of my crewmen hit me in the head with a monkey wrench and it hurts real bad. 
There should be a few painkillers on the counter. What, these? They look a little big. It's all I got right now. All right. Oh. Okay, there we are, all nice and clean, spick and span, nifty wifty. And now to move your guy. Oh, uh oh, little guys. Little guys! Uh oh. Little guys! Little guys! Where'd you go? No, we're playing hide and seek. We didn't plan this. Little guys! Oh no! Captain's log, start eight. 32, 27, screw it. We have accidentally misplaced the Micronobian delegates. Currently, we are turning the ship inside out in our search for our microscopic guests. So you place the Micronobians into stasis capsules while you cleaned and sterilized their transport module. In violation of Star Command regulation regarding the care of persons of moderate to minuscule size. We'll sign blame later. Yes, sir, that's what I did made sure they were all snug in their capsules and gave their module a nice scrubbing. Yes, indeedy. Then what? Well, I came back and the stasis capsules were gone from the counter. Did anyone come into sick bay while you were cleaning the transport module? Yes. Do you know who? Yes. Why didn't you tell us this before? Well, you didn't ask. So are you going to tell us who came into the sick bay? Sure. Now, Cosmo. Oh, it was Commander Chuck, sir. He had a headache and needed some painkillers. Computer, where is Commander Montgomery? Commander Charles Montgomery is in sick bay. Bridge to sick bay. Doc, is Chuck down there? Yes, he is. He's got a nasty stomach obstruction. Doc, don't do anything. We'll be right down. Doc, I need you to scan Chuck's stomach for Micronobian life signs. Do what? The captain believes you may have accidentally swallowed Ambassador Dominicus and his attaches. <sighs> Great, that's just what I need right now. Well, I'll be an Anthrosapien's uncle. I'm reading three Micronobian life signs just behind the blockage in Chuck's stomach. Can we get them out? It'd be tricky. I can't flush Chuck's system with Dranosine like I planned. The force of the bowel movement would crush the capsules. Can we use the transporter? Micronobians are too small for the transporter's pattern matrix. That's why they require transport modules. Suggestions? Could we not just operate and remove the Micronobians directly? I would, but Chuck has a fondness for Alderberry and Chili. So? The main ingredient in Alderberry Chili is methic acid, which, when combined with stomach acids, produces a powerfully explosive gas. Usually, this gas is processed through the rest of the digestive system and released as a relatively harmless flatulence. Obviously, you have not used the restroom after Commander Montgomery, Doctor. The issue comes when the gas isn't processed through the rest of the digestive system. If it came in contact with oxygen, it could destroy sickbay and a good portion of the port side of the ship. Doesn't much matter, Doc. I'm going to explode right now. Man up, cry, baby. Ah. Captain, I believe I have a solution. I'm all ears. We could attempt a probiotic infusion to help Commander Montgomery's body break down the methic acid at a faster rate. It's a well-known fact that Altacarian gut flora are aggressive, if not downright ruthless, in their treatment towards foreign substances. All we would need to do is scrape a live culture of Escherichia Altacaria from the inside of Grac and apply it directly to Commander Montgomery's lower intestine. You don't mean a poop transplant! No, 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 no. I believe Lieutenant Commander Grac would agree. Do you have any suggestions that don't involve feces? We could use the cargo transporter from Cargo Bay 2 to transfer a shuttle into the transporter's pattern matrix. We can then adjust the scaling factor to micronobian size. 
the shuttle could then be directly inserted into Commander Montgomery, where it could rescue the Micronobians and clear the obstruction. Wow. That sounds needlessly complicated. True, but it's the best chance we've got. How long do you need, Borok? The entire process should take no more than six hours. Oh! Mm. Dominicus is supposed to meet with General Frag of the Altacarans in two hours. I believe I have a solution for that as well, Captain. Oh! This is not gonna work. If Borak is successful, you only have to fill in for a few hours during the state dinner. I will give you tips on dealing with the Altacarans through your earpiece. Out of, um, curiosity, what happens if they discover I'm not Dominicus? A war that will run the worlds of the Commonwealth red and purple. Purple? And I don't comment on your freaky alien anatomy, monkey boy. Point taken. Well, let's get this over with. Well, it appears the miniaturization was successful. I guess so. Patch me through to Mr. Borak. We are here, sir. Well, it appears your miniaturization was successful as well. I think I'm gonna be sick. Yes, sir. I couldn't even sit through my biology lessons in the academy. Buckley, quit whining. Borak, you've got four hours to get in, get the Micronobians, and get out. I don't think I can hold off the Altacarians with this act after dinner. Yes, sir. I will do my best. I'm filled with confidence. Thank you, sir. Borok out. Doctor, we are ready for insertion. Mm. Quit biting, you son of a bitch! This is gonna help! Eventually. <laughs> hey. Why don't we have any seat belts? I don't know. We were told by Star Command that a Captain Shepard would be bringing the Micronobians to the negotiations. The captain took ill while en route. He sends his regrets, but the ship's doctor would not allow him to attend the negotiations. Ambassador Dominicus, however, is ready to meet with the Altacarans. Didn't ask for your life story, jeez. Shall we beam Ambassador Dominicus to the surface? Whatever. No skin off my nose. You do realize you're making it incredibly difficult to control the urge to eradicate your entire species. I get that a lot. In a hundred years, who's gonna care? I'm sending the Micronobians now. By cog for I hate Apathians. Well, I'm down, but there's nobody here. Altacarans like to arrive late so as to unnerve their opponents. Great. You are late! I should kill you where you stand! Confront him. Bullshit! I was here first, you ass-loving donkey f***er. Little much. Donkey f***er! You heard me. Yes, well, you are early, so that means that by the great code of Rahnarau the Bitchmaker, you must relent to the first three demands the Empire makes. He has invoked the Great Code. You are entitled to ask for a herd of Grolf, or a daughter of equivalent value. What? Is there a problem with your translator, Ambassador? Uh, yes, there's a bit of a delay. <laughs> for wasting my time, I demand another five concessions from the Commonwealth. Oh, now hold on a minute here, asshole. Just because you're a big, scary Altacarin doesn't mean I'm gonna roll over and take it. We're here to negotiate a treaty. And until you show me and the people I represent some respect, you're not gonna get a damn signature out of me. Do you hear me, mother Don't wait for the translation, General. Answer the damn question! <laughs> you must have balls of solid Adam and tight, tiny man. I am Frag, General of the Altacaran Empire. Join me for food and talk. I'll be honored, General. <laughs> <laughs> 